life is a funny thing. While my life goes on like always, there's others out there who have lost everything and everyone they had to this plague. Now mind you, it's mostly in the big town, so it hadn't really got to us out here. Not yet. Last we heard anything out of the radio stations was six months ago. I ain't too terribly sad it went off, to tell you the truth. Too many folks is asking too many questions. It ain't our place to question God's plan. They some asking why and some asking how. I'm of the mind that all them questions is the problem. You just don't doubt God's plan. You thank Him and do with what you got. You don't go asking so many questions. That's all she ever does these days, is ask me question after question. What are you doing, Elizabeth? What are you thinking, Elizabeth? I can't even have my own thoughts to myself no more. At least when she's asking, she ain't yelling. I just wanted a chance to be something someday. Now the world's half gone. And I ain't gonna see none of it. All I have is this house, mama, and daddy. I guess I just had to make do. Until next time, love, Lizzie. Elizabeth, stop fooling around in there and come help me get supper ready. I ain't fooling around, mama. Don't talk back. I don't give half a care what you are or are not out there doing, all right? Chores need to be done. I'm busy right now. Elizabeth Ann, run out there and get them sheets off the line. It's starting to rain. It can wait a minute. Elizabeth Ann. Daddy? Do what your mama told you. God. Something to put on her arm, Martha. What are you doing? It's for her own good, Martha. And probably ours. No, 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 no. You're not going to top our daughter, no. Martha, you're just going to have to trust me on this one. And even if you don't, you're going to go along with it. Yeah. <laughs>
Her fever ain't broken a while now. Sometimes it seems like she's coming around and then she starts talking out of her head like now. But I'm sure God has a plan in all this. can't tell what's going on in Joe's head. He ain't spoken some time. Elizabeth always has been a daddy's girl. Joe, can I talk to you for just a minute? You wore a slap out, Joe. And you ain't? You know good and well I am, but you're not cut out for this, okay? I, I can tend to see I did this for years, but I, I just hate to see you struggling like this. What makes you think I'm struggling? See it, Joe. All right. Listen, just just go get some sleep, okay? One of us needs to get some rest. I don't need the rest. Why don't you let me stay with her? And what exactly are you gonna do to help her, Joe? Well, I suppose I could make sure everything's locked up, and I guess I could get some rest. But you come get me if anything happens, Martha. I will. Anything. Promise, dear. Martha knows what she's doing. You hear that, God? I'm really talking to you again. Surprised? Yeah, me too. Please. Please just let Martha know what to do to help our little girl. She knows that medicine stuff. God, just be in there with her. I need you to help Martha in there, because I sure as hell can.
<laughs> what happened? <laughs> yeah, oh. no, 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 she's fine. She's fine. She's fine, okay? Just go back to bed, all right? Get out of my way, Martha. No. Let me in this room. No, I can fix this. I can fix her. Give me some more time with her, okay? Just a little more time, please. Just give me some more time. Please. It can't be fixed, Martha. If you could have fixed it, it'd be fixed already. My baby ain't in there no more. Joe! that time of day. <clears throat> Hello? Good afternoon, y'all. If you can hear me, my name is Martha, and God has been using me for some time now to spread His good news all over. Praise be to God. Today's passage comes from one of my favorite books, but before we dive into God's Word, I, I want to say a little prayer. Dearest Lord, we praise you for this glorious day and for your many blessings that you've bestowed upon us. We pray for continued hope through the dark time of the enemy's reign. I pray, God, if there's anybody out there that, that needs a safe place to rest their heads, you, you got them to my home. Use me, Lord, for your purpose. And continue to bless us. Amen. Now, if you've got your Bibles, turn with me to Galatians chapter 4. Hello? Hello, hello. Can anyone hear me? We don't know if you're still out there. If anyone can hear me, I just want to hear a voice. Can, can somebody respond? Anybody? I'm here, honey. I can hear you. Oh, thank God. We, we really need help. We're, we're lost. We, we need a place to stay. Just anything you can offer. All right, Shug, listen to me. Now, tell me where you are. Okay. Thank God you answered. Um, I know, we're out here on um, Highway 6, I think, close to a town, maybe west of, a, of what used to be a town, I think. All right, now, just keep coming west, okay? Pretty soon you're going to pass an old power company and then a, a country church. Now, you can't read the sign on the church anymore, but it, it used to say Zion Church. I'm going to pick you up there at 5 p.m. Oh, that is music to my ears, ma'am. You said 5 o'clock, right? Yeah, y'all come on for this rain hits, okay? Okay, thank you. What's, what's your name? You can call me Martha. Thank you, Martha. You, you really are an answer to our prayers. Oh, honey. I'm just doing God's work. Hi. 
Home sweet home. You know, I, I really can't thank you enough for this. Now don't worry about it. Go and put your bag right in there for me. You coming, huh? I thought I heard something. Oh, no, no, I'm, I'm sure not. You, your nerves are probably just shot. Y'all come on in here and sit down with me. Let me take your bag. No, thank you. I'll hang on to it. Oh, honey, I, I don't mind. I'll I just said no, thank you. Well, all righty then. You know, I, I can't even imagine what you two have been through out there. Let me set up shop here, and then we will sit and visit for just a spell. You know, you gotta seal it up good. They tend to shy away in God's light, but my, they do come out in the night, don't they? Well, we gotta keep us in here and them out there. James, I, I really don't feel good about this. Something is not right about that woman. Ah, uh, she's just a... A lonely woman, Sarah. I, I promise you we're okay. Now, I, I have a good feeling. James, I really don't know. Secrets. Secrets are not fun. Bathroom. Sarah's a, a little jumpy lately. It's been a long few days. No need to explain yourselves, darling. Anyhow, it gets lonely out here all by myself. It's nice to have company now and then. Well, I, I am sorry for, for the way she's acting. Don't apologize. Now, let's get cleaned up and ready for supper. What's wrong with you? What do you mean, what's wrong with me, James? What's wrong with you? <laughs> we can't just trust people we don't know anything about. Well, now you're acting crazy. Now this lady's taking <laughs> us in, and, and you're acting like... Well, you're acting like she's one of them. I'm sorry. It's just, I guess I'm stressed and a little tired and paranoid, <laughs> you know? I, I promise you it would be okay. You you believe me, right? Yeah. Hey. We're in this together. A team, right? <laughs> A team. Okay. Okay. Now, let's go in there and see if she needs any help. And maybe, once you get to know her, you'll feel a little better. Y'all wash them hands? Oh, no, ma'am. I, I completely forgot. Let me go do that real quick. Is there anything I can help you with, Martha? No, dear. I have everything I need. Okay. Uh, to tell you the truth, I don't really know that I know what I'd be doing anyway. Um, I've been a little keyed up lately. Just stressed out, you know. Well, calm down, dear. I don't harbor any harsh feelings towards you. Oh, man, it sure does smell good in here. What's cooking, Miss Martha? Oh, I just put on some peas and a roast. A humble spread, really. <laughs> oh, man, we haven't had real food in weeks. Sure will be nice to actually sit down and eat. Well, 
Now, why don't we get to know each other a little bit better? I think that'll help. Do you? I do. So, tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, what would you like to know? There's, there's a lot to tell, especially lately. Well, anything you want me to know. Okay, well, why don't you go first, Sarah? Um, my husband and my son were bitten about a year ago. Oh boy, I'm stuffed. That was wonderful, Martha. Well, you should be as many servants as you had. I couldn't help it. It's been so long since I've had a hot meal and it was so good. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it, Suge. I see you didn't eat much, Sarah. Yeah, I just, I wasn't real hungry. Well, uh, I guess you learned to live off of what you can. Well, let me get these dishes, Martha. No, no, no. Now, I'll take care of all that. It is the least we can do. Nonsense. You two need to go in there and sit and relax. Let this lady feel useful. Well, sounds like a good idea to me. I think I'm gonna go kick back on the couch then. Is it okay if I stay and talk to you? If that's what you want, darling. You know, we never did get your story at dinner, Martha. How'd you come to be out here all by yourself? Oh, well, that's not an interesting story. It seems like your friend does have the right idea. It, it is getting late. Can't ever tell about time these days. That's, that is true. I am exhausted. It's probably about time for us to hit the hay. Well now, let's let him be. Unmarried folks don't need to be sharing a bed. <laughs> um, okay. Sure, that would be fine. Here, you take this. I was saving that for myself for later, but seeing as you ate so little for supper, you may be needing that. Thank you. Now, run on to bed. Breakfast comes early in the morning. Good night, Martha. Good night, sweet Sarah. James. James. I just wanted to say good night. I'll see you at breakfast.
please don't do this to me. Wake up. James. Please. Please wake up. Dear Lord. You nearly gave me a heart attack sure as I'm standing here. Now you need to hush, girl. There ain't no point in hollering and carrying on at such. What are you doing up at this hour anyway, young lady? <laughs> You're crazy. You are crazy. You just, you stay away from me. You just stay the hell away from me. Stay back. Now, Sarah, you know you don't want to go out that door. <laughs> To hell with you! I would rather die out there with those things than die here with you, you crazy psycho bitch! Scared silly is what she is. But you can't tell kids nothing these days. There ain't no help we can offer her now. Well, I guess we better get started, Shook. And so it will come to pass that the wicked will hide their eyes from the light of the Lord and the righteous will reap the blessings of his bounty. Anybody hear me? Is there anybody out there? 